Hi, okay, this laptop is Lenovo X250 and it is uh, working okay, but from time to time it's like stuck and then the display is freeze and doing brrr sound like something is stuck and you need to restart in order to make it to work again. What is special about this model? It has two batteries. One is external, which we will take off right now. And the other one it also has internal battery, so be careful when opening it. It's a good thing, of course, always to <coughs> make sure that uh, the power is fully off. So it's recommended to make sure that the power is fully off. Phillips screwdriver, uh, there are many screws here, hopefully I can get to open it, I think I will go over the memory card, sometimes uh, the contacts between the memory card and the laptop itself is a bit of problem, so uh, you can clean it a little use the alcohol 100% or 99% because it doesn't uh, it doesn't leave any watermarks and the 70% is not good enough for PCBs okay so how many screws I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 it looks like only 8 now, uh, I think I need to use magnets to take it out. I'm trying to find. I have a magnet here somewhere. As always, I need to find this stuff. This one. And it is not really helping. So I have another thing. We try to find the second thing. Aha! This is magnetizer. You just use it like this to magnetize your screwdriver. Aha! But the screwdriver is a little stick, so I try to use tweezers. Take it off. Oh, it's not easy to take it off. Interesting. Ha! <laughs> it doesn't want to get off. Why is that? I have no idea. But eventually it will go off, as you can see. Look like someone previously closed it, but not as expected, I would say. So I'm using a little force beneath the screwdriver in order to take it out. By the way, by the way, I see that there are different sizes. So a good thing to mark what you take from her. I'm using a little pressure with the tweezers while rotating the screwdriver and then it should go off. It's really not easy, I don't understand why. But this is the first time I'm opening this laptop. <coughs> okay, a few more to go. I'm 
I think that it will be enough to take this part of uh, the cover. Now what you want to do is to use another tool. This is a regular phone opening tool because it will not scratch all the plastic while trying to open it. You have here the parts that you need to remove. Let's try to do it easily with minimum scratch. Okay, there are a few clicks. After you hear all the clicks, then you are good to go. The cover goes just like this. Okay, so, whoa, what I can see here, I can maybe clean a little. The fan has a uh, of course, after many hours of work, it has some dirt. And what we can do basically, by the way, this is the internal battery that you need to be careful. Uh, I will go over basic things maybe. This one looks like a speaker. This is also a speaker. This is the hard drive. This is the battery. This is probably the LCD connector, this is of course the memory, this is the fan and uh, other things, uh, a Wi-Fi Bluetooth card and uh, all the other wirings that you should be care about, of course, is always the antenna, this is one antenna, this is the second antenna and, uh, and that's all. Okay, so about the memory, it's really easy to take it off. You just spread these contacts uh, to the outside and then the memory goes up. Mm. This is the major thing that I suspect because memory contact can always do such a problem. So the best thing that I recommend about the memory is to use as I said 100% alcohol and then grab all the contact on this side and then try to insert it again so I have here for such cases 99% alcohol and I will use it and you just need uh, tissue paper or something like this a little on the paper no need that more than a little and then just wrap the contact I wouldn't recommend to use a WD-40 or things like this because uh, for the long run it is doing the opposite This is basically what all uh, need to be done. What you can also do carefully is uh, use uh, this tool to clean a little the contact also. You can also rub uh, some alcohol, but uh, usually you don't need to do so because, because this is inside so it shouldn't uh, be dirty. Uh, what now you need to do is again make sure that everything is clean. You can use uh, 
magnifying glass to see that everything is okay and just pull it back by the way I recommend to do what I'm doing now taking it few times in and out what this is doing this is scrubbing the contact and it can fix the contact if it is not okay now just pull it back till you hear the click and I hope I am done if it is already open I recommend also to go again over the screwdriver check that everything is uh, is closed well maybe go a little over the contact like the way see we have here some things that are not connected or uh, maybe there is a card that can be inserted here it's look like another PCIe Express uh, connector mini PCIe Express this one um, that's all no more things to do about this problem okay I will see in the next days if this fixed or or did not do anything I will update about the battery the opposite side no this is the correct side just use a little pressure till you hear the click and then just close the screws and that's all nothing else to do in this case so I will now close all the screws closing is easy don't use uh, too much force to close it because you can break the plastic of course so use it carefully now about the size one screw is a little bigger I guess this one because all the other are the same again I'm not using more than a little force because other way you can break the plastic ok that's all let's reinsert the battery is almost fully discharged but it can power up and of course I don't know yet if this was fixed but I will look after it about the LCD by the way the best thing is to use a little water not use any chemicals to clean it, it's enough ok of course it power on everything looks terrific hopefully this will be ok ok, thanks for watching